your primary goal is to get stronger, you do need an added uh, frequency on those lifts. Um, however, like I said, it's so customizable that you can add that extra frequency. You could add the extra frequency. So you could add deadlifts to squat day, so you're doing it twice a week. You could add overhead press to bench day, so you're also doing that twice a week. So although the one con I would say is low frequency, you could adapt the program and it, since it is customizable. Um, going off of that, it is a little bit low volume, I would say. If you follow just the bare bone program, it only has you doing three sets on each of the main lifts. Um, the first two sets are typically very easy if you've ever done the program. And the first, the last set, the AMRAP, that's the only one that was really difficult. But again, even though that's a con, I always added back down sets to get more volume. And so if you run it how, how it's supposed to be without any additional sets, yes, it's a little bit low volume. However, like I said, take the con with the pro, put them together, you can add a little bit more volume, and then you kind of take care of that. So overall, five through one, I think it's a good intermediate routine. I really think there are better routines out there if you're really focused on getting stronger and bigger. Um, this was really meant for me to enjoy the gym. I think it's a very fun routine. It does work. Not the best routine, but if, depending on your goal, if your goal was like me, just to really have fun, enjoy the routine, have a four day split, and try to get a little stronger at the same time, it's good for you. If you really want to try to maximize your gains, you really been you really have a lot of time to dedicate to the gym, I probably recommend something else, but five through run overall is a pretty good routine, I would say. So by now you're watching the workout. This was my latest deadlift workout. Um, on the AMRAP set, I actually it was 470 pounds. The weights here are actually a little bit heavier, so it was really like 485. But I've been getting a little bit weaker on all my lifts recently, which is one of the reasons that I am switching up my routine after this cycle. I did mention in my last video that I will be changing up my routine. And I didn't say too much what I'm going to be doing. I have been thinking about it for a couple of weeks and in my mind I have it mostly planned out. Um, I don't want to say too much about it yet. Um, you will find out. I will say I still plan on basing my workouts around the main four lifts, so it's still kind of going to be like an upper lower split where I base the day around overhead press, bench, squat, deadlift. Uh, I obviously will not be doing five through one as the progression, so the percentages that I do on those lifts and the amount of sets, those will be changing. Um, because I also do find with five through one, I forgot to say before, Another reason I feel like it's not great for getting stronger after a certain point is the intensity is not high enough. So what I mean by that is the highest percentage of your one rep max that you ever reach is 95%. And that's only on week three, uh, which you're only doing obviously every third week. Uh, besides that, you never really go above 90%. And even that 90%, it's only on one set. So I do feel that in order to get stronger, although sub-maximal um, weight is what the program is based on, lifting lighter weights to try to get your overall max to get stronger. I do think you also need to be lifting a decent amount of weight close to your max if you do want your maxes to increase. So on my new program, I do plan to incorporate uh, lower, uh, lower reps, higher weights, and lifting a little bit closer to my one rep max a little bit more frequently. Um, because I'm still planning on only doing each lift once per week. I do not plan on doing everything twice per week. I think it would be beneficial to do it more than once per week, however I do not enjoy training that way and I have always found a good balance between enjoying my training and my goals. So I am hoping that by at least increasing the intensity and lifting heavier weights, although I'll still only be doing it once per week, I am hoping that will help me get a little bit stronger. Because my max on deadlift, even you see here I did 470, I only got two, I maybe could have gotten three, but I didn't like the way those two looked so I didn't want to push a third. I'm getting a little bit weaker on that and overhead press as well. So I'm going to be resetting my maxes, uh, focusing on a new routine, and hoping to get some strength gains from that. As far as the accessories, as I said before, the way I've been doing it now, I kind of vary the rep ranges. One week 6 to 8, another week uh, 8 to 10, 10 to 12, 12 to 15. I'm still going to be varying the rep ranges, but I'm going to be doing it in a little bit of a different way. Um, so I will show you more of those workouts as I get to them. Um, those are the main things, the intensities, the accessory exercises, the way I'm breaking those down, that's how I'm going to be changing it. Uh, that's really all I can think of for right now. Uh, I do, um, I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you have any questions about 5 through 1, 
uh, feel free to leave them down below. Like I said, it is an intermediate routine. I do recommend it if you're looking for a pretty solid routine that is fun. So let me just wrap up the pros and the cons. Pros, highly customizable. It can fit any schedule. It can basically fit any goal if you set it up correctly. Um, it, it focuses on the main lifts, which I find very useful if you're trying to get stronger and bigger. The cons, a little bit uh, low on the intensity and frequency. However, you could adjust it, like I said, to incorporate that. But the bare bone program, it is a little low on the volume and the intensity. Um, and I mean, that, that's, that's really it. So 5 through 1 is a solid program. If you never heard of it, you probably have if you're watching this video. But if you never heard of it, give it a go. There's Beyond 5 through 1. There's like three ebooks now. Um, each one comes out with more and more information. So. With all the versions out there, you can definitely find and uh, fine tune this routine um, to fit your goals. I'm definitely going to be using some principles going forward in my new routine, which I will make sure I share with you guys. So that's the workout. Uh, stay tuned for the rest of the video because I know you guys like to see me eat Halo Top. And look at that. This is the only Halo Top we have left. And today we are going to go with birthday cake. So when you eat Halo Top, you have to either leave it out in the freezer for like a half hour or put it in the microwave. My microwave is kind of weak, so I put it in for 40 seconds. If you have a stronger one, I'd probably recommend close to like 20, 25 seconds, maybe 30 seconds. See how it is, but it definitely tastes a lot creamier and tastier uh, when it's not completely frozen. <laughs> 